morphed as Catnap and Dog Day from Poppy Playtime so we can scare our friend. I'm gonna eat you. How would you like to die? Oh no, Dog Day, Catnap, I need to run. It's time to die deliciously, Mongo. Get inside my massive mouth. <laughs> no, I'm gonna eat him. Come here. You guys need to leave me alone. Take these fireworks. Is that supposed to stop me, Mongo? That just looks like a delicious snack. Now I have more of a reason to eat you. <laughs> Come on, Axie. I want to eat his head. Which part are you going to eat? I think I want to take his legs and turn them into catnap spaghetti. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm just going to delete the world and blow up my PC. I can't be in this world anymore. Huh? Mongo wants to delete his world. We can't let let that happen, Axie. What should we do? Maybe we should eat him before he deletes it. No, silly. I think what we need to do is unmorph and tell him that it was us before it's too late. Hey, Mongo, slow down. You don't need to delete your world. It was just me and Axie pretending to be catnap and dog day. Yup, that's right, Mongo. How did you like our prank? Are you serious? You guys are so annoying. You know what? I need to get you back for this. Let's do a Poppy Playtime build challenge. And my build is gonna be super scary. Good luck. I'll destroy you, Mongo. Don't you worry. Hurry up, Pluto. Let's build all the smiling critters. We actually don't have to, Axie. Check out my amazing drawing tools. If we just draw one of the smiling critters, the game will make them come to life. Wait, really? Isn't that cheating? That's not cheating, Axie. Mongo cheated by threatening to delete the Minecraft world. So now I'm just getting him back. Can you guess what smiling critter I'm drawing right now? I think you're drawing a piece of chocolate. Really, Axie? This is not a piece of chocolate. How dare you disrespect who I'm drawing right now? Let me just give you a little hint. It's who I was morphed as when we were pranking Mongo. Mongo. Oh, is that a pair of sunglasses? What? A pair of sunglasses? Axie, if you disrespect this smiling critter again, he might actually come out and kill you. Oh, I know who it is. It's Mongo in a cat outfit. No, silly. All of your answers are wrong, Axie. So I'll just tell you the right one. This is actually catnap. And I'm going to draw him right over here because the game is going to make him come to life right before our eyes. Wait, really? Catnap's gonna come to life? I don't know if I want that to happen, Wudo. Sorry, Axie, but you have no choice. Once Catnap comes to life, there's going to be nothing you can do. So you better be on his good side. Okay, um, I'm probably already on his good side, right? I don't know, Axie. You did just call him really fat, so he might I'd be really mad at you now. <laughs> hey, I didn't call him fat. You just called him fat. What? No, I didn't. Catnap hears everything, Axie. And if you lie, he will get you in your sleep and make sure that no one will be there to hear you scream. Oh, Wudo, guess what? My build is super duper scary. Mongo, forget your scariness. It's definitely not as scary as who I'm gonna spawn in. And, uh, I mean, build right now. Yeah, we'll see about that, Wudo. Just don't poop your pants when you come to my side. So much for the guy that pooped his own pants after I pranked him. You really think I'm gonna poop my pants, Mongo? Yes, you definitely are. Axie, we gotta make this guy cry when he sees our cat nap. I'm almost done drawing the hands, and I think I pretty much have everything finished. I just need to put these cat ears, and then I need to put Catnap's tongue, which will curl around Mongo and kill him. <laughs> Ew! Uh, Udo, you did kind of draw Catnap fat, though. I didn't draw him fat! This is the scariest Catnap that you have ever seen in your entire life. Never disrespect him, Axie. Dark moon, and I'm gonna put some dark clouds just to show that Catnap comes at night when you least expect it. It's night right now, though, Udo. Does that 
that mean he's about to spawn in? Well, let's see, Axie. I just need to finish my drawing. And oh my gosh, Axie, look what just spawned in in front of us. It's a giant catnap. That's so scary. Woodo, I think we should quit this build challenge and delete the world. No way I'm deleting the world, Axie. This is the coolest build I have ever seen in my life. What do you think? I think it looks like it wants to eat us. Well, obviously, it's catnap. Look at his big eyes and his gigantic mouth. I wonder how many critters have died in there. And look, there's his signature moon necklace. And look at his cat body, Axie. It's so spiny. What are all of these things in the back for? I don't know, Woodo. But I don't want to know either. Axie, look at his feet, too. Have you noticed his claws? Each foot has four of them, and they look really, really sharp. Imagine Catnap grabbing you with those things. That would be really painful. Ah, stop talking, Woodo. Can't we just build and not think about Catnap killing us? No, Axie, because you can't forget about Catnap's tail. Look at how long it is. That thing could probably choke us. Ah, that's so scary. Stop talking, stop talking. Stop talking or I'm gonna go to Mongo's side. I spent so much time making this great catnap trying to spawn him in and now I have an even better idea. How about we also draw catnap's best friend, Axie? Do you know who that is? Mm, me? No, silly. Otherwise, you wouldn't be scared of catnap. This friend of catnap's is actually orange. Do you know his name? Uh, is it Mongo? What? Mongo is red, Axie, not orange. Let me give you another hint. It's actually someone that you might not even know personally. Um, oh no, I think I know who you're talking about. You do? Who is it then? It's Dog Day. You actually know it, Axie. Good job, because now Dog Day might actually spare you when I spawn him in next. <laughs> We just not spawn in dog day and we can go eat some cake and some ice cream and uh, never think about this again. And lose the build challenge? Are you crazy, Axie? I will not let Mongo build anything scarier than me. I told you, we have to build the greatest Poppy Playtime build ever. Do we have to? Of course we have to. And if we don't, then dog day will make sure to get his revenge on you. Okay, well. I guess we have to stay and crush Mongo in the build challenge. There we go. That's the spirit, Axie. Right now, I'm drawing Dog Day's massive scary mouth. He is a dog after all, and scary dogs are really scary. I hope he doesn't use his big teeth and sink them in my turtle belly. Oh, gosh, that sounds so scary. Don't say that. But look at that mouth, Woodle. That looks like a black hole. I know, right? Should I add teeth in there too, Axie? Some really sharp fangs so that he can eat Mongo? Okay. Oh my gosh, that's making it even creepier. I've never seen Dog Day's teeth before. Anyways, now let's draw his big floppy ears. As you know, Dog Day is a dog, so he needs these ears in order to hear his prey, aka us. Wait, I thought and Mongo was gonna be his prey. Well, yeah, he is gonna be his prey. But if we don't listen to Dog Day's orders, then we might be next, Axie. Gulp. Oh, no. Hurry up and finish the drawing, Woodo. I don't wanna look at this any longer. Axie, you have no choice. You have to. Woodo, I'm almost done with my build and it is looking amazing. You hear that, Axie? Mongo thinks his build is better than ours. Just you wait until you see our dog day, Mongo. You have no idea how scary it is. It is terrifying. I have a dog day on my side, too. You guys are going to scream so loud, everyone in the world is gonna hear you. 
I think the only person that's going to hear it is your mom. That's not funny, Wudo. Sorry. I think it's funny. Thanks, Axie. But this is not a joke, though. I'm almost done drawing Dog Day. Oh, no. Wudo, his ears kind of look like hot dogs with mustard on them. Axie, are you really trying to make fun of Dog Day right now? Take that back and call them the scariest ears you've ever seen. Okay. They're the scariest hot dog ears I've ever seen. Exactly, Axie. But did you know this fun fact about Dog Day? He actually has no legs because the other critters ripped it off of him. So I'm going to draw a belt around his legs, which basically makes sure that he doesn't feel the pain anymore. What a sad story. Wait, really? Why did they do that, Woodle? I don't know. Maybe Dog Day is just misunderstood, or maybe the other critters have a point because dog day is so scary i don't know maybe dog day is good and catnap is the only evil one you think so i didn't look into the lord that much axie but you might actually have a point and if that's the case then maybe dog day shouldn't be built no we have to build dog day wudo because no matter what mongo will definitely poop his pants when he sees him that's right axie i'm I'm just drawing in that fateful moon again right over here with this dark, scary cloud. And I think it's time to spawn in Dog Day in three, two, one. And oh my gosh, Axie, look right above you. The actual Dog Day just spawned in. Oh no, it looks 10 times scarier than the drawing. It looks terrifying. And look at him standing next to Catnap. Axie, I don't think I've been this scared in my entire life. Look at his eyes. They're staring deep into my soul along with his massive mouth. I can't do this anymore, Wudo. This is way too scary. I need a break. How about we go to Mongo's side and uh, mess with him a little bit so I don't have to look at Dog Day. You're right, Axie, but just before we leave, you better watch out for Dog Day's paws. They might grab you while you're not paying attention. Ah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Come on, Axie. Let's just sneak over to Mongo and see what he's doing. And huh, Axie, what the heck has Mongo built so far? We need to grab some invisibility so that we can spy on him because so far his build looks like garbage. It doesn't look like garbage. I think it's kind of cute. But that's not the point. Catnap and Dog Day are supposed supposed to be scary there you go i just built dog day over here and catnap over here i bet wudo is gonna be so scared i can't wait how can Mongo be comparing these newbie builds to what I have lurking over the wall at him? Mine are like 10 times better, Axie. I don't know, Woodle, but what should we do to prank him? Well, I think that if we want to get him good and make sure that Dog Day and Catnap chase after him, we should change the colors of these critters. So how about we turn Catnap into a completely unrelated color like yellow? or maybe even pink. But would that be too disrespectful? I don't want Catnap to get mad at me. No, I think Catnap is already mad at Mongo because Mongo built him like this. You're right, Axie. So quick, while Mongo's distracted, let's just turn Catnap into a big cute bunny rabbit so that he actually makes Mongo a target. <laughs> I'm gonna make his feet blue. Oh my gosh, Catnap's feet aren't blue axie i think that's even worse than making his body pink wait a second what's going on to my catnap why in the world is he turning pink Oh, gosh, quick, Axie, hi. Maybe Mongo just thinks that catnap ate something weird. And that's why he changed colors. Yeah, definitely. Now it doesn't look like catnap. It looks like Axie. Huh? Oh, gosh, I forgot, Axie. Pink is also your color. Are we going to get exposed now? Mm, hold on a second. Catnap, are you telling me that Axie is going to be super scared of you? Oh, my gosh. You're you're so silly. Huh? Are you serious? Mongo actually didn't fix 
figure it out. Isn't that funny, Axie? This makes no sense. I'm going to start changing Dog Day and see if he realizes. Exactly, Axie. And you know what I'm also going to do to Dog Day? I'm going to give him big googly eyes. <laughs> look at this. They're going to look so funny. It kind of looks like a frog. Oh, yeah, you're right. Especially with the big silly eyes. It doesn't even look like a dog anymore. Let's see if Mongo notices the hint of the green and pink colors. Will he find out that it's us? What in the world? Dog Day, you changed colors too? And now you're green? Hold on, there's pink and there's green. Which means, Dog Day, you must be trying to tell me that you're gonna scare Wudo. Oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for scaring my friends. What in the world, Axie? Can you believe how dumb Mongo is? He thinks that they're gonna scare us. And why did he give them noses? I know. Now they look like they've been lying recently, Axie. Let's just make them a little bit longer so they look even goofier. <laughs> that is beautiful, Pluto. Let's make the noses touch. Ew, that's so weird, Axie. Why are they doing that? And why did Catnap's nose go inverted? What the heck is this? Let his nose go down, Wudo. All noses are beautiful. Wait a second. Your guys' nose extended and now they're touching each other? Are you saying you guys are gonna combine forces to make sure Wudo and Axie are scared? No way. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I can't take this guy anymore, Axie. I think I'm gonna spawn in a couple of my friends from Poppy Playtime. I'm gonna spawn in Huggy Wuggy and Cat up to kill Mago. <laughs> What in the world? Huggy Wuggy, Catnap, you guys are all spawning in. Oh gosh, I gotta get out of here. Let me just dig a hole and hide until the round is over. What? Mongo can't hide? Axie, we need to blow him out of that hole. Yes, we do, Wudo. And I think we should do it with some TNT. And a bazooka. In three, two, one, boom. Have fun getting eaten, Mongo. Oh, gosh, they blew it up. Now I have to run around. <laughs> Come on, Axie. I think we've had enough messing around with Mongo. My invisibility ran up. I think what we should do is make our catnap and dog day even better by building them a place to live. Remember, the smiling critters all come from the factory. So why don't we try drawing that? Oh, no. Are you sure you want to build the factory, Wudo? That's really scary. Build the factory? Did you forget that I can draw anything and make it come to life, Axie? This will be super easy. And it's going to make sure that we can get the help from all the other smiling critters to defeat Mongo. So all I need to do is just build a little rough draft of how the factory looks. It has a bunch of tiny little red houses in the corner corner so let me get one of these they're basically like the little production areas for building all the toys or in this case all the smiling critters oh no okay well while you do that i'm gonna draw a statue of myself because that's not scary axie that is 100 scary how about instead of building your own self you can draw huggy wuggy the owner of the factory wait really Okay, I guess I'll draw Huggy Wuggy. There we go. And once we spawn in Huggy Wuggy, we can report Mongo to him and let him know that Mongo has been making fun of the other critters. <laughs> Mongo's gonna get punished for that. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get killed. But check this out, Axie. I'm putting in the windows of the factory right over here. Even though once you go inside, you can never really come back out. Really? Even us? Well, I hope we're an exception because we've been building Catnap and Dog Day very, very nicely. But there's always the off chance that it could happen. Don't say that, Woodle. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well then just don't think about it. Let me put the infamous P logo for the Playtime Company right over here. And then I can add a couple more roofs up here with some more factories where they're going to 
to be producing even more smiling critters. I think every kid should have a smiling critter. And let's just hope that they're not catnap. Gulp. Let's hope they're not any of them, Ludo. Yeah, maybe some normal toys are also pretty nice if you ask me. Now, let me just build the castle right behind the factory as well, where all the critters go and hang out, and also where the orphanage is, where the critters get adopted. Wait, the critters get adopted? Yes, of course. That's why they've turned so evil, Axie, because this playtime company has turned them this way. Really? Are they gonna turn us into toys too? I hope not, but you would be a pretty funny looking toy, Axie. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, no, I wouldn't be. Yes, you would. You would be a really, really small, squishy toy. No, I wouldn't be, Woodo. I'd be a scary big toy. A scary big toy? Are you sure, Axie? Because you're not scary or big. You're a tiny little cute axolotl. No, I'm not, Woodo. You need to get your eyes checked. Okay, Axie, my eyes are looking at my drawing right now, and they're looking at the huge smokestack that I'm building on top of the factory, where all of that excess gas will go after they burn all of the bad smiling critters. Gulp! I don't want to burn anyone, Woodo. I know, me neither. I'm glad I'm not part of this factory, because that would be bad news. Okay, well, I'm almost done with Huggy Wuggy. The top of his head might get cut off, though. If you cut off the top of his head, Axie, you can expect the top of your head to be cut off, too. You need to fix it. I can't fix it, Woodo. It's just gonna have to be this way. Oh, gosh. Well, then, Axie, it was nice being your friend. Consider yourself dead. Huggy Wuggy's not gonna hurt me, right? I hope not. I actually almost done building this factory, so maybe we can just ask him. Wait, he's gonna come to life? Well, yeah, you're drawing him, Axie. Did you forget that anything I draw in this video turns to real life? I just thought I'd make, like, a nice statue of him or something. Not that he'd come to life. Well, Axie, I just finished drawing the factory. So you're about to meet him in five, four, three, two, one. And oh my gosh, Axie, look. Hoggy Wuggy spawned in and the factory is here too. And now it looks like Catnap and Dog Day are the overlords of all the critters. Why is Huggy Wuggy so tall, Woodle? We have to get rid of him. He looks like he's gonna jump scare me. Oh gosh, Huggy Wuggy, please leave us alone. Just go over there or something while we admire the huge playtime factory. Check this place out, Axie. It looks exactly like my drawing with all the different factory floors and all the smokestacks. And now Dog Day and Catnap have made it our responsibility to fix it for them so that they can build more critters to give to more kids. Okay, but how are we gonna fix it for them? It already looks pretty good. It does, but look at this place. It's all dirty and nasty. I think what we should do right now is convert this front area into something a little bit more enticing. How about we add a gift shop where all the kids can come and buy all the smiling critters toys? Oh, that actually sounds pretty nice, Woodle, and not that scary. Well, that's what you think. How about you go ahead and try putting some plushies down, Axie, while I grab a cash register for what could be their very last purchase in their lives. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put like 20 axolotls. All right, Axie, you go ahead and do that. I finished building this checkout area, so now let's grab some more plushies. Plushies. I want to grab some scary mobs, and then you can put down some nice mobs, Axie. Only axolotls everywhere. Axie, don't disrespect the Playtime Company. They don't sell only axolotls. They look too nice. So, we need some mean-looking ones. I'm going to go ahead and grab a magma cube, a guardian, a blaze, the warden, an ender dragon, and the wither. Don't those sound especially scary yeah i'm just gonna stick with my axolotls look at how big 
the ender dragon one is Axie. I'm sure that no one would want to mess with him. Look, I can even grab an axolotl and put it there. And now it looks like the dragon is about to eat your axolotl. No! No, I have to save my axolotl. Axie, I'm sorry, but there is no saving her. She's just going to have to be eaten by the dragon. That's messed up, Woodle. I'm going to start protesting this toy factory. I know. We definitely should, Axie. Something this scary should never exist. But now check it out. We have a nice big scary toy area and a nice big happy toy area. But that's not all, Axie, because we need to get this factory up and working again. And we need to build all the smiling critters. So why don't we go inside the factory and try to find where the factory floor is? You know, where all the conveyor belts are, where they actually make all the toys. I don't know if I want to find that, Udo. I know, this place is so creepy, and I have no idea where anything is. Maybe it's back over here, Axie, and... Oh, wait, look, there's a sign that says playtime, and look at all the different areas. I think we actually found the factory grounds. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, which entrance should we take, Udo? Should we go into power or into warehouse? I don't know, Axie. Some of them look blocked off. I guess since this area is open, we can go in and... Uh-oh, it says staff only. We better be very, very cautious in here, Axie. But we're not staff, Woodle. Do you think that catnap is gonna come kill us? I have no idea. The only way to stop him from doing that, if he will, is if we build the factory quickly so we can tell him that we're on his side. Quick, I'm gonna to grab some slabs right now so that we can build the actual factory producing area. Okay, hurry up, hurry up before we get eaten. What are the ingredients of the smiling critters, Axie? That's what this conveyor belt needs to start with. Probably something like fish and dirt and flowers and maybe some redstone. Fish, dirt, and flowers, Axie. Are you being serious right now? Do you really want Chatnap to come eat you? I don't know how to make a plushie, Woodle. Don't blame me. Okay, Axie. We're just gonna have to do some experimenting. I'm over here in this section where we're gonna start the production. Let me go ahead and grab some hoppers, and we're gonna have all the ingredients come out on an item frame. Let's see. If we're talking about plushies, then maybe what the smiling critters are are happy plushies that turn evil. So, let me grab a happy plushie real quick like a cute axolotl and a cute yellow sheep and how about a little chicken and a little turtle now what's gonna happen is we're gonna put all these toys on the conveyor belt just like this except what's going to happen is that once these toys come over here in this section they're gonna turn evil just like the smiling critters they are how are we gonna turn them evil well i'm gonna place down these gold golden hoppers, Axie, which will pretty much do anything I ask of them. So, if I just have them make every one of these toys evil, they will actually turn evil, Axie! They will? Can we not, though? I don't want this cute little axolotl to be evil. I'm sorry, Axie, but we have no choice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some hoppers over here, and this is going to have to be our containment area, where the smiling creature respawn in so i need to grab some of my trusty iron bars and some obsidian to make sure we don't have any um let's just say mishaps and now i can put this obsidian over here and then we can build a giant jail cage where all the brand new smiling critters will be sitting and waiting for their demise that's so scary and that's also kind of mean Woodle. why do we have to lock these plushies up 
Well, Axie, they're not blushies. We're gonna spawn in a ton of catnaps. Are you telling me that you would want catnap roaming around freely in your Minecraft? I don't think so. Okay, I see your point, Woodle. Let's spawn them in. All right, well, hold on, Axie. Don't get too ahead of yourselves. We're not spawning anything in until I have these reinforced iron bars to protect us. And once these are in, that's when we can actually spawn in those creepy smiling critters. Oh, I get the shivers just thinking about it. I'm not going in there, Woodle. You're gonna have to do it. All right, fine, Axie. I guess I will do it. Let me just fly up over here and seal off the top so Catnap can't squeeze his way through any holes. And now that this area is sealed off, we can choose all the Poppy Playtime characters to spawn in. What do you think we should do first, Axie? Should we spawn in Huggy Wuggy, Dog Day, Catnap, or what about some other ones like Boxy Boo? I don't just do it while I'm not looking. This is too scary. If you say so, Axie. Let me just grab some Huggy Wuggies and Boxy Boos. And ooh, how about Mommy Long Legs? Those sound creepy, don't they? Ooh. No, 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 no. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Well, Axie, check it out. I just finished spawning in our newest specimens. And now the factory is producing more smiling critters. Look, there's Boxy Boo and Mommy Long Legs moving around. And then we can't forget about our huge Huggy Wuggy and Catnap. Ah! I'm not going to look, Woodo. You can't make me. Axie, are you hiding in that corner? You're not going anywhere. Hiya! creepy, Axie. But the only way that we're gonna keep them happy is if we give them some food. So how about we put a nice big bowl over here and inside we fill it with axolotls. No, let's fill it with turtles. What? No, I don't want to feed them turtles. That's my own kind. Yeah, well, axolotls are my kind, Woodle. I think axolotls taste better. How would you know? Um, I just kind of guess and maybe I took a little nibble of your shoulder once or twice before. Well, I took a nibble of your shoulder and turtles definitely taste better. What? You nibbled me, Axie? Oh, gosh. What if you're a smiling critter? I think you need your own cell too, Axie. As long as it's far away from this cell. Well, maybe, Axie, what we can do is we can prank Manga when he comes over here to check out our build. Maybe we can say that you're the newest smiling critter and he might actually believe it and we'll get him to poop his pants. Of course he will. I'm very scary. All right, Axie, let me just build this real quick. And what I'm going to do is put some iron bars here. Then what you can do is give your biggest scary face when he comes over, okay? Rawr. Exactly. Now let me just put some curtains to make sure he can't see before we come over. And now there's no way of telling who's in inside of here, Axie. Come on, give me another roar. Roar! Aw, that's so cute. You better do it scarier next time, though. Okay, Woodo. Should I wait here while you get Mongo? Sure, Axie. Let me just put some flames over here to give Mongo a heads up and also some really scary warning signs. That'll be sure to creep him out, right? Yeah, he's gonna poop his pants when he gets in here. Well, I better spawn in a toy just in case. I don't want him pooping in my factory. And now, Axie, I think the factory is fully finished. You sit tight while I go check in on Mongo, okay? Okay, Woodle. Go get him. All right. I'm coming over to your build, Mongo. Are you finished building? Oh, Woodle, is that you? Yep, it's me. And I'm ready to see your poppy playtime builds. All right, Woodle. I'm gonna show you the greatest build of all time check it out we have 
catnap and doggy over here touching noses. Mongo, are you sure they're supposed to be doing that? Don't you feel like maybe you had gotten um pranked or something? <laughs> um, no, Wudo. Why would I get pranked when I literally have a Poppy Playtime factory making all of the scary things inside of Poppy Playtime? Ooh, I see. You're taking Steve heads and then you're turning them into Huggy Wuggy heads. That's pretty cool, Mongo. But this Huggy Wuggy looks like a fake one he doesn't look scary at all it just looks like a blue monster with a bunch of red lipstick Woodo, i wouldn't make fun of huggy wuggy if i were you he's scary but that's my build what do you think i give it a score of maybe 0. 0.000001 out of 10 for how boring it is mongo why don't you come over to my side so you can see what really goes into a scary poppy playtime build Check this out! What in the world? Your build can't be that good. And oh my gosh, what is that catnap? And is that a giant statue of Dog Day overlooking the entire Poppy Playtime factory? It is, Mongo! You actually got that fully correct! So now, choose who you'd like to be the dinner of, Catnap or Dog Day? Muro, I don't want to be the the dinner of either of them can i just go home no you can't go home i need to show you our factory mongo so why don't you come over here to the entrance where everyone is welcome <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like there's gonna be something bad that happens to me would you like to buy a toy mongo we have some scary ones and some nice ones i'll buy three nice toys please all right mongo there you go Go, but now that you bought a nice toy, you actually get a free tour of the factory. Why don't you follow me off here into the employees only area? The employees only area? Am I a VIP customer? Sure, Mongo. You're a VIP customer for now. <laughs> Let me just bring you over here to our factory grounds where all the smiling critters are produced, Mongo. Wait, what? Smiling critters are produced? What in the world? This is even creepier than I expected. Come over here, Mongo. All of our smiling critters start from happy toys like this. But then these golden hoppers turn them evil. And once they turn evil, they end up in this huge jail cell that I built. Oh no, Voodoo. Am I gonna turn evil next? Well, no. But if you'd like, you can feed yourself to our smiling critters. Look, I spawned in a bunch of axolotls. And then Axie spawned in a bunch of turtles but they don't like eating turtles only axolotls why would you guys place down your family members you're so creepy well no it was just a mistake okay anyways mongo i have something to show you i've actually been working on the newest smiling critter ever and it's pink are you ready to see it yes Wuro. well you better sit on that toilet in case you poop your pants while i unveil it to you here it goes our brand new smiling critter in three, two, one, and voila! Her name is Axie! <laughs> oh gosh! I, oh, I pooped my pants. What, Mongo? You just dropped a massive poo poo because you got scared of Axie? <laughs> That was so funny. Wudo, I need to use the plunger on the toilet. Haha, <laughs> Mongo, we got you so good. Your build is the worst. Are you serious? I can't believe this. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.